buttons on the button. What he doesn't want to do is four bet and fold to a jam. So he might even shove right here with starting this hand with 47 big blinds? Uh, it would be an aggressive shove. I think he's more likely to four bet and just commit. Oh, he just shoved. Ooh. He shoves on Tony Miles. How's it going YouTube? Welcome to Andreas Furley Poker. On my channel I talk about poker news and poker strategy and in this video I'm going to have a look at the hand from the intro from the 2018 WCP main event between Joe Kata and Tony Mas. We're down to five players and Joe Kata opens it up from the high check with his pocket tens to 2.3 big blinds. Then Mas wakes up on the button with ace-king offsuit, three bets it to around seven big blinds and then back to Kata, he jams it in for 48 big blinds effective and then gets back to Miles who has to make a decision here. As usual, in order to understand what you should be doing here, you have a look at the ranges in play. I expect Joe Kata, at least in 2018, to jam a hand uh, range like pocket nines or better and ace king. Against this range with our ace king, we're gonna have around 41% of equity. It's roughly the price that we get in order to make the call. However, we also have to factor in ICM and with that we have a so-called risk premium that we need as an additional equity to make the call here with Ace-King. So we're gonna differentiate, differentiate between having the chip EV call, which is strictly just trying to make chips, and the dollar EV here in this situation. And from a chip EV perspective, you can make the call, but from a dollar EV perspective, you probably have to fold here because of ICM considerations. There are also some other considerations when it comes to this hand. This hand is televised, and if you make a habit of three bet folding, a skin offset on a continuous basis, then you're gonna open yourself up to exploitation in this spot. Now, Joe Kata still three, four bet champs for 48 big blinds and he's not gonna have a hand very often that, that does follow through with this plan. So you just have to acknowledge the fact that he's gonna have narrow range and against that range, you're not gonna have even a complete, uh, a clear coin flip, but you're gonna be an underdog and also are in a ICM situation where you could just bust the next few hands if you happen to lose this one. However, if stack sizes were just slightly lower, let's say 30, 35 big blinds, then things change drastically. Chocala can also jam much lighter because he's gonna get a, a much better price on his bluff. He could jam some more pocket pairs and an ace-queen offset and ace-queen suited become much more realistic. And an ace-king gains a lot of equity. You're going up to around 50% if your opponent adds on ace-queen in this situation. And also you're getting a much better price given the stack depth. So all in all, it's going to be an ICM fold in this situation, but if variables just change slightly, um, you're going to have to make the call. I hope that you enjoyed the analysis of this situation. If you did, don't forget to hit the like button down here and also subscribe to the channel for more hands coming up in the future. Also, let me know in the comment section whether you have, would have gone with the Ace King to win it. You know, sometimes it's time to go for it for this once in a lifetime chance and just go for the flip or whether you have full, would have folded because it's less dollar V and you just want to make the right ICM decision. Now I want to let you guys watch the end of the hand and then see you for the next one. I've been running pretty pure this tournament. Uh, there's some info. Miles grew up as an athlete, struggled in the clutch. He said that this is a perfect opportunity for redemption. He's ready for a flip. Joe Cata at risk with tens. He gets the call from Tony Miles with Ace King. Cata's made of it life on the line. Well, whatever happens, I think Miles is happy with his decision. It was a clutch moment, and he decided to gamble for his tournament life, pretty much. Anyone see Dyer? Michael Dyer just hanging out. There's also a big swing for, for the other players, right? They move up an automatic pay jump if the flop, uh, if you can outflop Kata. Kata awaiting his fate. Here is the flop, Hatta with the 10s all in. 
And there is a king in the flop. Miles hits top pair with his ace. Kata now in need on one of the two final streets. Kata got lucky in 09 with two small pocket pairs that ended up beating bigger pocket pairs. Now Joe's gonna have to get lucky here on the turn or the river. Tony Miles awaiting the queen. And so Kata with some more outs as that jack would make a straight. This could get ugly. Big sweat on the river here if you're Tony Miles. How do you look at this river? Biggest flip we've had at this main event so far. Joe Cata's second run at this bracelet comes down to this river card. Tony Miles with a huge pot in front of him. The river card is a nine, and that will bring this main event to an end.